Here's a happy family's book, Miss Dorse the Doctor's Daughter. Dora Dose was a doctor's daughter. Well, really, she was a double doctor's daughter. Her mum was a doctor and her dad was a doctor. Dora liked to pretend she was a doctor. Each morning when her dad came down to breakfast, he said, Is there a doctor in the house? And Dora said, told her, Yes, me. She took his temperature and tapped his knee with his her little doctor's hammer. She told him to say, Ah. Dora Dose had a pretend doctor's bag, a pretend doctor's waiting room and six pretend patients. Dora's patients were her little brother, her baby brother, her teddy, two dolls, sometimes and sometimes the cat. Dora took their temperatures and tapped their knees with her little doctor's hammer and she told them to say ah. But Dora was not happy being a pretend doctor. Her thermometer didn't really work, her doctor's hammer was a toy and her patients would not do as they were told. Next please said Dora and her little brother said it's my turn to be the doctor. Next please said Dora and her baby, baby brother crawled off. Next please said Dora and the cat ran off. Next please said Dora and the teddy and the dolls just sat there. I wish I was a real doctor, said Dora, and she went into the kitchen and bandaged up her mum. But then one morning this happened. Dora just woke up and went into her baby brother's room. She was thinking of taking his temperature, but what did she find? Her brave her baby, her baby brother was awake, smiling and covered in spots. <gasps> oh, said Dora. She ran into her little brother's room. He was covered in spots too. Then she ran into her parents' room, and they were covered in spots. Is there a doctor in the house, said Dora? And Dora said, yes, me. What we need... What we need is the spots medicine, said Mrs. Dorse. She began to get out of bed. I I'll go, said Dora. Dora went downstairs for her mum to her mum and dad's surgery. She got the spots medicine. She gave her dad a spoonful, her mum a spoonful, her little brother a spoonful, and her baby brother a spoon half a spoonful. She also tapped her baby, baby brother's knee and told him to say ah. But at nine o'clock, Dora looked into her mum and dad's waiting room. And what did she find? Lots of patients waiting. Real patients. Real spotty patients. What they need is the spots medicine, said Mr. Dorse. He began to get out of bed. I'll go up, said Dora. Dora went downstairs to the surgery again. She put on her mum's white coat. She picked up her dad's stethoscope and sat in the doctor's chair. Next, please, said Dora. And the first patient came in. You're a little doctor, he said. Yes, said Dora. She gave him a bottle of spots medicine. Next, please, said Dora. And the second patient came in. You're a very little doctor, she said. Yes, said Dora, and she gave her two bottles. Next, please, said Dora, and the next patient came in, and the next, and the next, and the next, and the next. Most of them said what a little Dora, Dr. Dora was. None of them said it was their turn to be the doctor. When all the patients were gone, Dora Dose went upstairs. She sat on her parents' bed, she took her dad's temperature, she told her mum to say, ah, is there a doctor in the house, said Dora. Yes, said her dad, and her mum said, you. A few days later, the doorbell rang at the doctor's house. Mr. Dose opened the door and what did he find? It was all those, those patients again. They'd all come to say thank you, because all their spots had gone. Is there a little doctor in the house, they said. Well, said Mr. Dose, there's a little spotty doctor. And so there was. Dr. Dora was up in her room, as happy as could be. She had a real doctor's bag, a real thermometer, a real hammer, and a perfect patient. <laughs> she has spots too.